So for Animal Farm by George Orwell, I'll give the quickest possible summary since this book is so well known. Orwell illustrated the Russian Revolution of 1917 and its outcomes with the allegory of a farm and its animals. I'm not going to get too detailed about the specific events and symbolism because the story is ubiquitous by now, especially considering how this book is required reading in almost every high school. Instead, in this video I'm going to discuss the background of when and how Animal Farm was published, what I found notable, and how it relates to the world we're currently in. The background of this book is funny to me. I find it ironic that the publication of this book was unofficially blocked by most English publishing houses. I say unofficially because it wasn't that this book was directly targeted. Instead, it was more that the British publishers all tacitly understood that this book shouldn't be disseminated, and they censored it by simply refusing to publish it. The reason for this lies in the context. The novel was written and sent to publishers at the height of World War II. The subject matter of the book, i.e. its critique of the Soviet Revolution and the outcome, was obvious to all the publishers, and Britain's important alliance with the Soviets during World War II forced them to suppress this book's anti-Soviet sentiments. It's funny to me that the same politics that the book discusses, namely how information can be manipulated or suppressed for political gain, actually happened to George Orwell when he tried to publish it. Something I've always wondered about this book is why Orwell chose to use animals to tell the story. Would it have been less powerful of a message to use people? Was he trying to conceal his ideas to get past censorship? The publication history of this book is actually insightful with regard to the concealment question. If Orwell was indeed feeling his ideas with an allegory, he didn't do that great a job since it was evidently obvious to the publishers and critics alike that it was about the Soviets. So I'm not sure it was about concealment. Also, Orwell's original title of the book was Animal Farm, A Fairy Story. That subtitle has always been there, but publishers simply chose to disregard it throughout this book's numerous reprintings. Orwell's original title sounds more ironic than anything, in my opinion. Given how obvious it was to everyone, it felt like he knew it was obvious as well. Here's a quote from Orwell himself from 1946. Of course I intended it primarily as a satire on the Russian Revolution. And that kind of revolution, violent conspiratorial revolution, led by unconsciously power-hungry people, can only lead to a change of masters. Revolutions only affect a radical improvement when the masses are alert. Another quotation from Orwell that could be helpful here is from the original preface of Animal Farm, which was never published. In the preface, Orwell describes why he chose farm animals and a farm. I saw a little boy, perhaps 10 years old, driving a huge cart horse along a narrow path, whipping it whenever it tried to turn. It struck me that if only such animals became aware of their strength, we should have no power over them, and that men exploit animals in much the same way as the rich exploit the proletariat. In a way, his use of animals shows most clearly a class of beings that are completely dominated. But I want to home in here on Orwell's idea of awareness being the key factor to preventing this control from coming to fruition. This, in my opinion, is the most important aspect of this book, and it can shed a lot of light on human nature in the world's current context. All the animals besides the pigs are generally shown in Animal Farm to be dim-witted. For instance, Boxer, the hard-working horse, only knows the first four letters of the alphabet, and if he tries to learn more, he forgets the first four. This characterization of them being dim-witted leaves them to be taken advantage of. But I'd say it's not simply that they're not intelligent or have a low IQ or whatever. I think it's not intelligence that they're lacking, but awareness. They have no awareness that the pigs are taking control, or that they're being fed narratives by the pigs, but most important, the other animals are not aware of their own power. There's a scene in Chapter 7 when Napoleon's dogs suddenly jump and attack Boxer, and Boxer completely crushes their attempt with just his hoof. He could have easily wrested all of Napoleon's physical power away from him and killed the dogs, but Napoleon told him to let them go, and he did, and that was it. Boxer isn't simply unaware, that he has the power to overcome Napoleon. Boxer isn't even aware that there's anything he needs to overcome. This allows the pigs to create whatever narratives they want to create to make sure that their power is always being exerted. We've seen Animal Farm how many times the pigs change history to fit their ends. Napoleon even banishes alcohol because he was hungover towards the end of chapter 8. Though this law was simply a manifestation of his own personal existence. It only reflected Napoleon. And once he felt like drinking again, the narrative shifted. 
Orwell shows here how a given narrative only reflects the truth of the one who tries to promulgate it. One reason Orwell puts in his book for this lack of awareness is that there is no written evidence of whatever the other animals feel is correct. In chapter 6, Squealer quiets the other animals as unrest at a policy regarding the use of money by asking if it was written anywhere that they can't use money. The animals all say no and assume that that means it never happened. The written evidence that does exist is constantly shifting anyway to fit the pigs' narratives. But what I find interesting about this is that today we have so much written evidence for everything. The internet is an enormous repository for any kind of written evidence that you'd ever want. There's almost a surplus of it now, and it actually makes it a lot easier for information to contradict or get lost, or for us to feel too overwhelmed to attempt to consider the information in the first place. To me, the fact that the written evidence of today accomplishes relatively little with regard to empowering the people shows how the mechanism power uses to exert itself over our awarenesses finds a route to do so no matter what, and that it's always up to us to separate what we truly think is right from wrong and to always be aware of what's going on around us. Of course, there are still many questions that could be asked about the events shown in Animal Farm that would require a lot more thought. I say of course because the form of this book makes it obvious that it wasn't intended to be a political treatise, but more of a cursory and relatively light-hearted look into power relations. What I ultimately like about this book is that every event it portrayed, no matter how brief, encapsulates so much about us and how we work. It's definitely valuable to read this book.